My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. What I have here in my hand is the brand new One Tigress Dipper Table. This is the brand new table that replaced the Worktop Table that unfortunately One Tigress discontinued some time back. The Worktop Table was a fantastic option for backpacking purposes because it was lightweight, easy to put together, and basically it did everything right. With the Dipper Table here, I've been testing this out for a while now, and unfortunately, I'm not impressed. After using this table a handful of times, I can tell you all that this is a step in the wrong direction for One Tigress as far as their tables go. This has a lot of problems, and folks, we might as well begin talking about them now. Just in case you're new to the channel, let me inform you of this. I purchased this product with my own money. I don't care if you buy this product. The channel here is agenda free. With this channel here, I share my opinions, information, and you can make up your mind from there. That's what the Outdoor Gear Review is all about. Why don't we go ahead and let's start off with the storage bag here. This is 16 and a half inches long and it's roughly five inches wide. So what we have here is a polyester storage bag. We have a grab handle up here and we have a single zipper. With the storage bag open, you all are about to see a lot of components. We have part of the frame here, which is slow and fiddly to put together. We have another piece of frame here we have legs, tabletop support bars, and here we have the table itself. Lastly, we have a mesh caddy. When it comes time to put this table together, no longer is this an easy, quick process. This is a process that actually takes quite a bit of time. To me, it's surprising that the company has gone this direction because this really does slow down the entire operation of this table, setting it up and breaking it down. Basically what the company has done is this, they have disconnected and separated every single component. So you now have to put everything together. It's quite strange to be honest. With the frame here, for an example, it's in two pieces. So you have to put the pieces into place and then lock the frame together. Then you have to insert the feet. Then we have to do the support bars for the tabletop. Then we have to put the tabletop on. From there, if you want to, you can attach the mesh gear caddy and it goes underneath this tabletop. For this episode, I'm not going to install this. Let's just focus on the table itself. We have already gone over the stored dimensions. Let's talk about the setup dimensions. With this table here, you can set this up in one of two ways. There's a low mode and a high mode. Basically, you can set it up without the legs or with the legs. When you set it up with the legs, the high mode, it is 14.6 inches tall, 15.7 inches wide, and the table itself is 23.6 inches long. In the low mode, it stands 8.6 inches tall. It is 15.7 inches wide and it's 23.6 inches long. As far as the weight limit goes of this table, I have no idea what it is. One Tigress used to state this information for an example with the worktop table. That is the previous table that was discontinued. That table could support 88 pounds. The company does not state what this one can support. I suspect it's quite a bit less and that's why the company is not stating that information. As far as the weight goes of this table, you're looking at almost three pounds. When it comes to the materials, you're looking at a 600 denier polyester fabric with a 7075 aluminum frame. This is available in the Coyote color only, and at the time of filming, this runs $50 on the One Tigress website, and it's going for $43 on Amazon. With all of that being said, it's time to begin going over my list of pros and cons for this table, starting with the pros. We will start with the pros because the list is quite a bit shorter than the cons, unfortunately. The first pro that I have for this table is the fact that it is a table. If you're gonna start off with something like that, that really does set the tone for like how poor of a product this is. You know what I mean? So if you have to state the obvious and that's a pro to it, things are about to get bad. 
So yes, this is a table and it does what tables should do. As far as appearances go, this table looks good. I like the color scheme, everything about it. In my opinion, it looks pretty sweet. When it comes to using this as a tabletop, it does exactly what you would expect. It's quite stable, you can have your stove on it, you can cook on it. You could do whatever it is that you need to do as long as you're not moving this table. There's no issues as far as like tipping it over or anything like that. You just don't want to pick this thing up. And again, we'll talk about that in just a minute. The next pro that I have for this table is the overall size of this table. I mean, the table itself is like 23 and a half inches long, something like that. Overall, this does give you quite a bit of space to cook on and so on. If you were to sit down to this table, you're going to eat. There's enough space here for two people. And those, my friends, are the pros that I have for this table. Now let's switch over to the cons. Con number one is the storage bag. It is incredibly small. It is way too small for this table. It is so small, in fact, that numerous times I have had the zipper bust open just from the stress of it all. Next, everyone, when it comes to setting up this table and breaking it down, it is a complicated, slow process. There are so many steps here that simply do not need to be here. Every single one of these components should not be separated on their own. I understand that one tigress wants a table that has like two different heights, right, as far as the setup goes. But the truth is this, at the lowest level, this table is almost useless. Most people are not going to use this table with it standing eight inches high or eight inches off the ground. Anyways, that doesn't really matter. What I'm really focusing on here is the setup process and the breakdown process. It just takes so long to get this table from being in pieces to being set up, and it shouldn't be that way. As far as I know, One Tigress is the only company that I've seen that makes outdoor tables who has basically separated every single component. So it's just a big time waster and I don't like it. At the same time, it is somewhat complicated. If you're not paying full attention, you can easily set this up with the frame being misaligned, basically having it in the wrong orientation. So again, the setup process, the breakdown process, it's too slow, it's too complicated. Plain and simple, there are too many components. With the previous version, there were four main components to set up the table. With this one here, there's nine. The next con that I have for this table is quality. I've had some issues. I've spoken to other viewers who have had issues. It's a real shame because One Tigress is a company that was known for making high quality products, but yet I'm starting to hear about problems, issues, problems, and issues. And this table, without a doubt, has some issues. The issues that I've experienced are different from those that I've heard of from viewers. So again, I spoke about the zipper splitting on that storage bag. That happens for two reasons. One, the storage bag is too small. Two, the quality of that zipper is very, very poor. I'm not sure what brand of zipper that is. It's not labeled. It is very, very cheap, very inexpensive, and it cannot hold the stress of the bag itself and the contents. This marks a departure for One Tigress. With the previous version of this table, the worktop table, the bag featured YKK products. Their tents would feature YKK products. But I've noticed a shift. The latest round of tents coming from this company no longer feature YKK zippers, but yet they've switched over to lesser quality brands, brands that are known to have issues. So I'm not really sure what's going on here, but without a doubt, there has been a shift at One Tigress. And it's a shift that I hate to see because I really do like this company. I like the products that they make for the most part. I know that they can do better and I know that there's a reason behind this. Maybe it's the economy, maybe they're trying to keep their products at a low price, maybe they're trying to increase profits, I have no idea. But I can tell you this, their quality is beginning to suffer. Speaking of which, I do have a viewer who purchased this table and they have had two issues and they are at the point now where they've given up on this table. So the first issue that they had was that the tabletop would not stay connected to the frame itself. It kept popping off. They had to do a great deal of back and forth to get a replacement and when they did, the tabletop itself was coming apart at the stitching. So ultimately they just had to send it back and get a refund and call it done. They were told that there was an issue with this table and that it would be addressed in the future. After hearing about this, I reached out to the company and they told me that that was not true and that the table was perfectly fine. So yeah, we have that. Another issue with this table is the fact that once it's mounted to the support beams, those support beams will come off of the frame very easily. So if you go to move this table, as I spoke about before, you can easily separate the top part from the frame itself. It is highly irritating and frustrating. Oftentimes you're just trying to move things around, you're not thinking, you just grab it to move it and you rip the top off. Again, I'm not sure why the company has separated all of the components like this. 
but this is a step backwards for sure. Another issue that I have with this table is weight. At three pounds, this table is something that I would no longer backpack with. In fact, the company's gone in the wrong direction. This should have been lighter weight than the worktop so that you can easily backpack with it because that's what this is. This is a backpacking table. It is too small for car camping or anything like that. If you were to go car camping, you wouldn't use a table this small. Your typical car camping chair would sit higher than this table here. This is designed for backpacking purposes and backpacking chairs. It's the perfect size for a foldable backpacking chair, not a car camping chair or anything like that. So again, the weight has gone in the wrong direction at three pounds. It just does not make any sense to carry this because it's just so heavy three pounds for a table i mean a table is a luxury item in the first place so if you're going to have that luxury item it needs to be low weight but again this is three pounds it doesn't make sense the last backpacking table that i reviewed was from a company called odo land the table was basically identical to this one but of course the frame was all in one piece though and it was easy to set up but it weighed one and a half pounds this table is double that Ultimately, in my opinion, with the dipper table, this is a step in the wrong direction. Multiple steps in the wrong direction. There's just a lot here that I personally don't like. And when it boils down to it, would I recommend this product? No. The answer is no, I would not. For the money, for less money, you can go find better products than this. Products where the top won't rip off if you decide to move it. Products that are lighter weight. Products that feature better quality. There's definitely something going on here. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm hearing two different stories. The viewer states that he was told that there's going to be a new version. They're looking into the problems and so on. Then you have one tigress and they're stating that everything's fine. You just have to know how to use it. With all of that being said though, based upon my own experiences with the poor quality zipper, I do think there's something going on here and I would highly recommend staying away from this table. Of course, it's up to you. You can do what you want to. If you like the looks of this, go out and buy it. It means absolutely nothing to me. I'm just sharing with you all my thoughts, my feelings, and my personal preference. I would not go out and purchase this again. And with all of that being said, folks, I am done. Now it's your turn to sound off in the comment sections down below. Share your thoughts. What do you all think about the dipper table? Do know that the company has a dipper chair as well to go along with this. I haven't made a decision on whether or not I want to purchase that product and test it out. We shall see. Comment down below. Do you want me to get that in? You want me to check it out? Share your thoughts with me, please. For this episode, I am done. Before you say goodbye, please hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel a lot. Folks, be well, strength and honor. Bye for now.